Hello, my name is Kevin Fox and in this short video I'm going to give you an introduction to the BIM Designer's footing module working inside of Revit. Here we're going to add some loads into the model in, directly inside of Revit using our, one of our dialog boxes. This can also be done if you import results from an external program like our advanced design or robot as well. So once the loads have been added to the model we can then calculate directly and all of the reinf reinforcement is produced. You can see we're getting four reports and wa any warning messages will appear. You can change the model directly using the Revit functions or you can use our built-in dialog boxes as well. So here we've just changed the cover in two different ways but both is accepted. We can also change the reinforcement assumptions in our dialog boxes and we can add in additional reinforcement or different reinforcement styles if you wish. So you can see running another calculation everything has passed. If you want to make some more changes to the model you can do that in directly inside of a dialog box, a reinforcement dialog box and you notice it has theoretical and design reinforcement there to make sure that you've actually covered the design requirements. You can produce reports directly from within inside of Revit and these are full design reports to Eurocode 2 and they will cover all the overturning and sliding effects and reinforcement validation and all of these reports can be exported as PDF and Word documents too. You can generate your drawings and schedules directly inside of Revit so you can see here we've produced a schedule, a full schedule to the BS8666 with all the shape codes and dimensions correctly in there and your full drawings. You can modify the drawings using Revit native tools or you can modify the main templates as well so they are produced correctly straight away. All of the reinforcement produced is a Revit native reinforcement object so you can see all of the properties of them. We can also produce reinforcement for beams as, and columns as well as the bases that you've already seen using exactly the same functionality and you produce all of the reports and drawings in the same way. It's worth pointing out that even though what you've just seen has been the full design process, the BIM designers can also be used for just reinforcement, so you don't need to put in any loads or design requirements and use the dialog boxes to produce your reinforcement drawings and schedules inside of Revit. All of the modules also work as standalone modules as well, as well as in our advanced design package. Uh, please contact me if you would like any more information.